Hello and welcome back to my triathlon YouTube channel. Today we are in Northumbria. Today is Saturday, the race is tomorrow and we are staying in kind of like the venue. It's like a centre park so like the swim goes off from here. So we're here with my parents, um, Greg's parents and Greg's little brother Freddie who was in my uh, Liverpool half marathon video. So there's all these like little cabins that we just stayed in. Drove some of the course last night, the bike course, and it looks hilly, but it also looks nice. The temperature's fine, I'm in shorts. Whereas Greg's dressed for winter with his coat on and he's got jeans on, but I'm a summer guy. Oh, foresty. <laughs> oh yeah. Some last minute bike mechanic. Greg, what are you doing? Slightly changing the angle of the TT bars so that it hopefully gives you. They're trying to raise the TT bars a bit because my shoulder hurts at the moment. There's Greg's bike. Oh, upper back. Yeah, like upper back, shoulder blade area. Nice, nice kinematic tricep. Is that new? Greg and I are just going out for half an hour try. Sort the bikes out, move my position a bit, and yeah, just make sure the bikes are all okay for tomorrow. Got a new tactic long sleeve top on, which is very nice, with my race helmet and some Lacole shorts, which are also very nice. At the Darwin Triathlon the other day, I lost my visor off my helmet. So this helmet's meant to have a visor on, so I think it looks a bit stupid now. Like, it seems to sit like really high on my head. Anyway, so I'm gonna have to wear my Oakley sunglasses tomorrow. Greg's looking race ready there. You still got the number on from Darwin though. <laughs> Not race ready. These are the beautiful roads. So this road's gonna actually be closed tomorrow. Um, it's quite windy on that front wheel and the TT position I've just created isn't very good, so we're gonna have to go back to square one. Uh, but yeah, nice scenery. TT position that we changed, I think I wanna change it back because it's quite windy and I don't seem to have as much control on the bike. And I think I'm gonna swap my front wheel out for Greg's front wheel. That's the one I usually race on. It's not as deep as mine. Mine's a bit deeper, so I go all over the place. So well, we're not, it's going really well. <laughs> now I'm just going to head out on a 15 minute easy run. Then we're going to go into sort the bike out and go into transition, leave the bikes and chill for the rest of the day. Four laps if you're doing the full, two laps if you're doing the the uh, the middle distance triathlon. And you'll pass me standing on that grass two or four times. How cool is this? You get Johnson 297. Very clever, very bougie um, triathlon. You get a jersey as well. We're just entering. Just got back from registering now and I thought I'd show you what we've got in our bag because we've got quite a lot. It's actually really good. We've got a little towel. Bearing in mind, I think this was like 170 or 150 to enter, maybe a little bit more, but it wasn't as much as the Ironman. And then we've got a cycling jersey as part of the entry, which is very nice. Look at this. Like, like that. And then you don't get you don't get jerseys for free these days so you get that then i had a drink that i've already had and then just like some other random stuff got the swim cap for tomorrow um and then obviously the bag little nike northumbrian little rucksack so yeah you get loads for your, loads of bang for your butt i'm actually feeling really tired um i'm just telling myself it's taper and that's how we always feel um but i do feel quite shattered down at the registration like you see loads of other people that are registering and i just hate that i hate that environment i hate how everyone like looks each other up and down and like judges each other and like oh their bike's nice or oh they don't look very fast it's oh, just horrible i hate it i don't i don't like all the judginess off to the race we go you feeling good? Rick's feeling good. What past five? Not a far walk and we're just going to transition now. Put our shoes in, etc. And maybe go for a little bit of a run just to warm up. It's actually not too cold, is it? I'm in the water, my feet. <coughs> Mind over matter. Well done, Kate. Bad in. What did you ask, Kate? I came, I came out of the water. Go on, Greg. Well done. Nice one, Kate. Well done. That's your dislike, lads. Well done, Greg. Go on, Greg. Come on, Kate. Greg's first. Kate. Greg's body is Greg's second place here. Oh, 
finished and Greg came second. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see you, babe. <laughs> this is what a second place person looks like. Mitchy bit and face. Do you want to give a debrief? You came in first on, first off the bike, albeit you had the second best bike slip, didn't you? Um, um, it was hard. <laughs> I feel like it finally my, my bike proved that my bike's getting better. Finally I had a good bike in a race which has not really happened. Yet. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it went really well for Greg. I didn't have a good race, I'll be honest. Probably look a bit moody on the footage. So my swim, I came in in about 31 and a half minutes and then I got told that I had to swim back out and swim around a boy that I'd missed. And the reason I missed the boy is because I'd missed the swim briefing because when we got into the transition to sort the bike, like put the shoes down, there was a problem with my bike, something to do with like the valve had come out or... The valve extender. The valve extender, so that was a problem. So then I had to run to the mechanic. So we missed the swim familiarization bit beforehand. And then we missed them telling you that you had to go around this boy. So I didn't go around this boy because I thought, well, if I go around it like one way, people on who are doing the full Ironman, because that was on the full distance, or who were on the second lap of the half, would we go in the other? So like that logistically wouldn't work. So I actually had that thought. So I did more of like a route, came out the water. And the guy was like, oh, you're gonna have to swim back to the first boy. So when I actually came out like 35 minutes, so I had like four minutes on. I came seventh overall, fifth place. I would have got if uh, if we took away those four minutes, which is a bit annoying. Bike, we've spoken about it now. I don't know if there was a problem with the power meter because I just didn't feel like I had anything up the, when we were going up the climbs, like I didn't couldn't get my power up. So my normalized power was like 160. Whereas last weekend for Darwin, I know that was a sprint distance, but it was 250. Like that's a big difference. And I was aiming for like 175. So Obviously, I felt disappointed about that. When I was coming in for the run, I was like already disappointed at this pace. But on the bike, like, like yeah, the reason we think there was a yeah, we think the power had because the time was still quite yeah, quite, my, quite yeah. On the, bike. the time was what to just uh, about three fifteen. Um, I think Greg did two forty six. Two forty five. Two forty five. Sure. The run for me is always a tough one and I just got around two hours so I was quite upset when I finished because I think when you've got like an A race and you're like you do so much training in advance we put so much of our lives on hold to do this training and then it doesn't go to plan it's like quite upsetting and also you've just finished race so you're knackered so it's like quite overwhelming we did speak to a guy in transition who was really nice wasn't it and to be fair he did actually cheer me up a bit and then we just had some mini pancakes and now we're heading back so we're going to try and get back to watch the football the event itself it's a good event there's a lot of midges it's a fantastic course oh yeah the bike course is fantastic the bike course is really actually really good it was very cold though i had very numb hands and feet and um, you'll have seen in one of the videos i've run out with no shoe on because my foot was so cold and numb i couldn't get the shoe on so i run a bit to try and get the blood flowing in it the run course is hilly like a trail run lovely only downside made you like getting bitten everywhere show them your arms <laughs> can you see like you yeah can. you can see it there like all of that yeah Gross. is from the yeah from the run which is horrible i think a few things could probably be done to make it better like the aid stations like there was a the water was in like plastic things that you couldn't really open because you had cold hands and greg got sent the wrong way on the run so that added a few minutes to his time which is a bit frustrating when you're in the that like the marshals should really know what they're doing but apart from that it is it is a good event and um, if you do come bring me g spray because it is very, very midgy. And we've not got any races coming up. I am volunteering at Boundary Breeze at the beginning of August for Man Try. So if anyone's doing that race, I will see you there. Yeah, I'm sure we've got things in the pipeline. I think Greg's gonna do the brutal full this year. He's already done the double and the half. So now wants to do the full. I will not be doing the brutal again. I've done that, got a t-shirt. I actually won that one. That was the only 70.3 that went well. I hope it's been interesting. I hope it's inspired you to go out and do a race. This shows that if it's not going to plan, like just finish it and you know, not not every race can go well. So much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.